Hi, it's Dave, Exeter Motorworks. Uh, today we've got a 60 plate Vauxhall Sofira in. Uh, DPF trouble again. It's the second time we've uh, done a forced regeneration on this vehicle. It's a taxi, so they do have a bit of trouble with uh, round town mileage. So we do seem to be regenerating more and more of these uh, Mondeo Sofiras Vectras. So what I'm going to do is go ahead, connect the scan tool and do a forced regeneration. Right, so here we are again, back on the verdict. Um, we're doing the Vauxhall Sephira, so Opal Vauxhall. And this vehicle's also got a hunting problem. It's been to the main agent several times uh, while it was under warranty. They couldn't really find what was wrong with it. So that's another thing that we've got to try and sort out today. Um, so it's a 2010 60 plate, Sephira B. We'll auto ID it. That's the right engine code, 17 DTJ. Okay. And we're going for engine management. Functional tests, special functions. And there it is, DPF regeneration. Um, it's not too terrifying, but it does go up to about three, three and a half thousand RPM when it's regenerating on these uh, these vectors. Start the process. I can just about hear it revving up now, so I'm going to go back outside and. It's a bit worrying when vehicles rev up on their own. We've got no emissions coming out the back at the moment, but it will start to give us a little bit of smoke and it's now into the DPF regeneration start to smell it stood here uh, start to get warm very quickly I think they get up around 550 degrees actually in the filter and you are told not to put it on any flammable surfaces what we usually do is put a metal sheet under the vehicle just so that um, the DPF itself as it warms up doesn't melt the tarmac we did have one metal tarmac once and you don't really want that so I don't think it matters too much about the hot exhaust coming out the back of the vehicle but it's the DPF itself when you look under the vehicle you can see a heat haze coming off of it it gets very very hot uh, this vehicle's done 60,000 miles we know most of the service history um, we service it fairly regularly it's been down to the dealer while it was under warranty so we won't have to do a flush or an engine oil change on this vehicle. We're going to leave it for a little while. It's getting quite acrid now. No visible smoke, but very, very smelly. So we'll come back to it in about uh, 10 minutes or so, see how it's doing. So you can see exhaust gas temperature. Uh, you've got a front and a rear exhaust gas temperature, sensor 1, sensor 2. Front temperature's up to what, 355, 360, the rear temperature, 490. I think they get up around 500, 550 on these. It's all going fairly well. It's revving nicely, revving cleanly. Temperature's going up. And we've also got a percentage of regeneration on the top there. That will get up to 100% when it's finished. The revs will come back down and uh, the vehicle will just nat do it, uh, naturally idle. Right, so we're about um, 10 minutes into the regen, up to 615 degrees outlet temperature now. Which I don't think I've seen one quite that high. I'm not too worried about it. As I say, it's been on for about 10 minutes. The uh, regeneration percentage up to 9%. So it's definitely carrying out its regen correctly. And we'll come back to it as it finishes. Right, so we're back on the regen. 97-98%, uh, almost finished. Go back outside and watch the vehicle rev down. It's just come down. Just that second come back down to tick over. And that is it. That's the end of the regeneration. Put my hand down here. You'll have to believe me, that ground is red hot. And you might just about be able to hear the 
Look at the tinning of the metal as it's um, contracting back where it's been heated. You touch that, that is, uh, that's going to hurt. You just hear it. That's the end of the regen. That's Vauxhall Safira, 60 plate regen, takes about 20 minutes.